again. So the last time I told you all I was going to be making a video of my LASIK eye surgery. Um, the reason why I did the LASIK eye surgery for this YouTube video is because um, it was the second surgery that I got. So the first YouTube video that I recorded was pretty much based on my Lipo 360, why I got it, who I went to, and you know, how the procedure went. Then this time I wanted to discuss the LASIK eye surgery, the procedure, where I went, how much it cost, and why I got it as well. So originally I never had the best vision at all. I wore glasses for like most of my childhood and then eventually as I got older, I started wearing contacts. Now I was wearing color contacts. Okay, don't, don't try to bash me, but yes, your girl was wearing her color contacts. And the only reason why I wanted to wear my color contacts is because I felt like, okay, if I can pick to see again or see better, I wanna have some color with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna be a brown, fuzzy, plain Jane. You know, I wanted some pop into my eye. So anyway, I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna get my eyes done or whatever. So I inquired about the services, but before I did the service or before I got the procedure, let's just say that, um, I definitely did my research. Like I was not playing. I saw that the place I went to, they had 4.9 stars. And I saw that the doctor had been in business for well over 20 plus years. So it made me feel very, very comfortable. Uh, when I initially went for my consultation, they were really friendly, very nice, very, very informative. And I look at things like that because it makes me feel comfortable. It makes me want to be like, okay, maybe I should give them a chance. I was for sure scared because at the end of the day, we talking about my ass here. Like, I need to be able to see. So any fuck up is going to mess everything up. And I'm going to feel like really, really fucking sad. Like, I can't lose my eyes. So I was like, okay... He don't work on people's eyes before me, so I know I'm going to be good. Mind you, I took my dad with me, so my father was like, he was going to get his done with me. So anyway, we ended up going, we rode together, we had the initial consultation. They told me that I was nearsighted and that I had astigmatism or something like that. And astigmatism is when like your eyes start to change. And so like your vision is not really blurry, but it's not crisp anymore. Like you always gonna have that slight blur because the eyes have changed. So I was like, okay, cool. What's the next steps? Like I'm all for it. I'm gonna get it done, whatever. So I remember the lady told me, she was like, um, it's gonna be around like, I think it was like around 38 or $3,900. And I'm like, okay, well, can I put a deposit down? I put like $65 down for the deposit. Cause I was like, well, I don't wanna put nothing too much because if I don't decide to do it, I can't be like losing all my money. But I was like, but if I do decide to do it, it's like, um, cool. But anyway, I ended up doing it or whatever. So I ended up doing it and um, I said, okay, well, I'm gonna put this deposit down and I put my deposit down, I'm gonna, you know, prepare for it. So I ended up booking my surgery. I can't remember how far apart, but I ended up doing it. I paid for the rest in cash. Um, but they do take care of credit. So if you have care credit, you can also use that to get your procedure done. Um, I ended up using that, whatever the case may be. Well, not using that, but I ended up paying for it out of pocket. And um, I remember the day of my procedure, they told me that I had to have someone drive. So I did have someone drive me. Um, um, the procedure was literally only like five minutes. So what they do is they go in and they put like, they numb your eyes. The way they numb your eyes, they put some drops in your eyes. And um, she goes up to you and she has like, a, it looks like a pen, but it's not a pen, but she has something similar to the pen. She goes and tap your cornea to make sure you can't feel anything. So you know she's doing it, but you don't feel anything because you're numb. So you sit for a couple of minutes until the doctor's ready to obviously start the procedure. When you go in, he's gonna tell you, you know, you should feel a little bit of pressure, but you shouldn't feel any pain. So he's gonna tell you you're gonna you're probably gonna black out for a minute. He puts like this thing over your eye. You feel your eye being like suctioned. Um, but then um, the way the the procedure is, it's like he pretty much uses a laser. The laser apparently makes like a slit or tear in the eye so that he can move the cornea with the laser. So he like moves your cornea around in your eye to like position it so you can get your vision back to where it needs to be. Pretty cool, totally awesome. It's like one of the coolest procedures I've had. 
Um, you're actually up the whole time. So you're numb, but you're up. So you see it. You're looking at him. You're looking at that bright ass light or whatever. The laser do its thing. You're like, damn, okay, cool. It's literally five minutes. I promise you, no more, no less. So once you leave or once you're done, obviously they give you some shades. You're going to put your shades on. And um, when they... Uh, when they give you the shades and stuff, you're going to wear them home, whatever the case may be. I think he told me I had to wear the shades for a whole week. So once I wore the shades for a whole week, um, well, let's, let's, let's back up. I ended up having to wear the shades for a whole week, but he also uh, prescribed me, um, I think, an antibiotic for the eye so that it wouldn't get infected. He also, I think he prescribed something else to kind of like make it heal faster. And then I had to put um, drops in my eyes. So he gave me like uh he gave me like a ton of boxes of like artificial tears so that your eyes don't dry out um so that was pretty pretty cool so the next day he told me i had to come back so i had to ask someone to drive me again so he just wanted to take a look at my eyes make sure everything was okay i would say this how it felt um there was absolutely no pain but my eyes I, like was watery the whole day like all i had was tears just kept flowing 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 down um, it feels like something is like really, really gritty. So like you want to itch your eyes, but you can't, but it feels like sand is in your eye, but it's not like annoying. It's like, it's not like you got to itch it. You just like, it feels like you like doing this the whole time. Cause you like, it's ugh, like, it's irritating. Um, your eyes are kind of dry. Some people say they experience dry eyes, even after the procedure. I think I experienced that for a little while, but I was like, like heavily, uh, on the, on the drops like the artificial tears at one point i was like "Ooh, they could put me in the show right now and i would cry because that's how much i was watering my eyes with them drops um so yeah he gives you the ointment you supposed to get a lot of rest like i remember the day i got the procedure i didn't want to talk to nobody i didn't want nobody to call me i felt miserable because my eyes were watering so my sinuses like my nose was stuffy kept running it was like a miserable experience for me but like i said it wasn't any pain um i know that when i was like had to go outside i hated going outside for the like first two days because my eyes was like sensitive to the to the light so you know you got your shades on but in the same breath it's like that you ever like woke up one day and you was like i'm gonna go outside real quick and you like whoo like you feel that little pain that's kind of like how it was but it, it wasn't nothing i couldn't handle um so yeah for like a whole week i had to wear my glasses i think i had to go back the, that week just so they could say like how you doing how's your eyes going feeling good feeling any better um i think i had my lashes on in a week i wasn't playing now i don't know if i was supposed to put no lashes on or nothing but your girl had on her mascara she had on her lashes like i was outside i was doing my thing there wasn't nothing gonna stop me so anyway the procedure happened to be in virginia i think it was um alexandria virginia if i'm not mistaken if it was arlington i'll disclose arlington but i want to say it was in alexandria um, I went to LASIK Plus. LASIK Plus was the practice that I went to. Um, and like I said, it was $3,900 or roughly about $3,800 to $3,900. Um, I know that if someone decides that they want to get LASIK done and you happen to refer, uh, to refer them to that practice, they'll send you like a $50, uh, $50 referral fee or something like that. At least that's what I can remember I received. And I sent like a friend there and he ended up getting his eyes done. And I got like $50 for it. So I was like, oh, that's so nice or whatever. So um, overall, my experience was great. Excuse me, I definitely would do it again if I had to. And the reason being is because um, they say you can keep getting this done based off like how, how your eyes hold up over the years. You can always go and get um, the LASIK done again. So that was pretty much it. Like I said, I was just tired of wearing my contacts. They was drying my eyes out. I was tired of just having to put them in my eyes every day and having to change them and losing one, one fall out. It was just too much. And then my glasses, I hated wearing my glasses because it was just like, I kept losing them. So that was just more money. So I said, you know what, we're gonna figure this out. Um, I actually knew like two people had, who had got the LASIK eye surgery done as well and they recommended it. Now they didn't recommend the, the doctor that I went to, they didn't recommend that doctor to me, but they just rec overall recommended the actual procedure. Like, you know, LASIK is where it's at, you should try it out. I promise you, I promise you you'll love it. 
Um, so that pretty much like is the whole shebang of the story of how it all went. Um, now, next time I will be talking about my veneers. Um, that was the third thing that I got done. So that's what I'm going to discuss as promised. Um, but before you all go, definitely make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if you all have any questions, um, definitely, um, you know, ask me in the comment section below. I'm also going to leave, um, uh, a lot of the information that we, um, talked about on this YouTube video or a lot of information that I talked about on this YouTube video, I'm going to leave in the description, um, box as well. So thank you all for tuning into my channel.